three legal opinions on whether a sitting president can be indicted. Two say no and one says yes. But all three agree that if the statute of limitations is about to expire, then the government needs to do something to stop the running of the statute of limitations, which would mean a secret indictment about which the public doesn't know. Statute of limitations, is, here it's five years and the Cohen crimes to which he pleaded guilty were committed in 2013, 15, and 16, so you can do the math. Okay. Rudy Giuliani on Sunday, I don't know if you saw this or not, but here's his message after he saw everything. No collusion, he writes, no obstruction, now campaign finance. But payments to settle lawsuits are not clearly a proper campaign contribution or expenditure. No responsible lawyer would charge a debatable campaign finance violation as a crime. Well, maybe those suffering from TD uh, that was not defined. I assume that means Trump derangement disorder. It's very strange to hear Rudy criticizing his former office. I mean, this office has had storied leadership, including Tom Dewey, Jim Comey, and Rudy himself. They persuaded a federal judge and the lawyers for Michael Cohen that the hundreds of thousands of, uh, thousands of dollars that were paid to silence the women who say they had relations with the president, which the president has denied, was either a campaign contribution uh, or an expenditure by the campaign, both of which are crimes. And I think Rudy should understand that. I believe that the president and Rudy mock the government at their peril. That's how serious these allegations well, what are. What he's saying about the payments, though, no responsible lawyer would charge a debatable campaign finance violation as a crime. It's not debatable, and the responsible lawyers who he's saying wouldn't do this are the professional people, not the political appointee who recused himself, Jeff Berman, but the professional people who run the Southern District of New York. What is your view on indicting a sitting president? Is it allowed he, or not? My view is that he can be indicted but cannot be prosecuted until after leaving office because the disruption to the government would be far more than the Constitution, of, of the prosecution, than the Constitution tolerates. I think Giuliani has said before they'll fight it up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Was that fighting the indictment or if there a subpoena. I think they'll fight both all the way uh, to the Supreme Court. They'll lose on the subpoena because the Supreme Court has already ruled on that. I don't know where they'll go on the indictment, okay. if, if, if an indictment comes. Look, Rudy's goal is not to dissuade prosecutors from indicting the president. Rudy's goal, and, and it's, an, it's an admirable one, is to create an atmosphere of public opinion so that if the president is indicted or is charged with an impeachable offense by a Democratic House, the public wouldn't tolerate it. That's what Rudy's trying to do.